Let's begin with their ma team. Lots of adults, mature adults, everyone well suited for their job. And here are the rules of the Roblox. Some obvious ones are the usual. No being edgy, no scamming, cheating. <coughs> They can tolerate all these quite well, but one thing they cannot tolerate are memes. I will take for example Ruben Sim, a major chad, was banned and many of his accounts were banned by Roblox for a less serious reason. His ban reasons would consist of inappropriate behavior or more vague response, breaking TOS. So what was the inappropriate thing that Roblox deemed to be so terrible? Because remember, Ruben was terminated consistently for being quote unquote inappropriate. According to the Roblox reports, it's nothing really. They don't have any sort of official statement on his ban and their ban reasons are just simply too vague. Ruben Sim claims that he was banned due to making several videos about the moderators themselves and also the CEO. The video on the CEO consisted of Ruben Sim making false claims in a satire way from, from David Bazuki's point of view. Other videos consisted of him criticizing the moderators and one of these videos talked about how a moderator followed an, a quite um, uh, inappropriate furry Twitter account. After these two videos, he was terminated off the platform. I cannot 100% say for sure this is why Ruben was banned, but it does make sense because Roblox doesn't give out permanent account deletions for you being inappropriate or targeted harassment via just calling someone a uh, 18 plus word. They don't do that. They typically give you a warning or a weak ban at max, but they just straight up terminated this guy. Yes! Another piece of trash brought off this community. Our players will now... Huh, is that a Sonic character? Die, racist! You heard me right. Users were getting banned for posting this image, saying a name, or if you even said that way. Some of the causes for the ban are quite professional. The mods were getting busy, banning kids left and right for using hate speech. So how was the meme racist? Well, Roblox's defense was this post that was removed afterwards. The meme known as Ugandan Knuckles is very popular on the internet right now. Unfortunately, the origins of the meme are based on racist jokes about the Ugandan people and the Swahili language. As such, images and references to the meme are not allowed on the Roblox website. Thanks, the Roblox team. Roblox mods when someone uploads a harmless image. Roblox mods when one thousands of exploiters are reported for 200 seconds straight. Hmm. Okay. Here's an image taken in Uganda. Art of the meme was painted on the side of a school wall. Not removed. Yet, it's on a school wall. Publicly. Openly. Unfazed. Unscathed. 27,000 likes. Yeah, no one cared about the claim of it being racist because it wasn't. Hundreds of more users would be sent to Roblox Hell for using hate speech weapons. <clears throat> May 1st, 2017, a user named QuackityHD was live streaming on Twitch and decided to raid the Roblox forums. For what reason? Well, for the meme, I guess. Encouraging his own viewers to spam his Twitch link in the forums so that others may join the raid. A war was about to begin. 
spray. Everyone, spam ready. Spam ready in the chat right now. Go on off topic. Put that link and and put join to raid. And fucking. Loads of threads were posted. Constant machine gun fire was laid down with the links to its Twitch live stream. The regular people who would use the forums for the actual attendant purposes stood no chance. But then support came from the north. The Roblox moderators. They quickly deployed a mortality of bath. The mods banned the leader of the army. Ready, ready, let's do it. Boom. Don't cry. No! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> then went for the infantry division. Quite impressive. But Quackity came back with a new account and a new message to unban his main account. So they started to spam the forums with this message instead. But it was no use. The mods had traced back the radio signals and found his Twitch account where he was live streaming. The new account was quickly banned for stream form rating on Twitch. The mods thought they had Quack in a checkmate. Desperate, Quack was scrambling for reinforcements, but before he could even get the chance, the mods unleashed their super weapon, the Orbital IP Banner. and it had a chain reaction, causing Quackity's main account, Quackity is Hot, to get permanently banned from Roblox.com. The mods also IP banned some of Quack's infantry division as well. But all while that was going down, Quackity's main infantry division was still attacking the forms in greater numbers. It was no use. The infantry in the tank division quickly overwhelmed the mods. Brother. Friend, I beseech you, seize your assault. We lay our weapons at your feet and swear fidelity in the name of King, the one true prophet. I beg you, I beg you, spare our lives. They panicked and shut the forms down. The forums are down? The forums are down? Are you serious? Are the forums actually down? Are the forums? Quack has won the battle, but not the war. Quackity regrouped his forces and sent them at Roblox's Twitter, ordering them to tweet at Roblox to unban him. But then the unthinkable happens. The Twitch overlords got involved and suspended Quackity HQ, quickly putting an end to his regime. Fast forward about two months later, June 4th, 2017. They are back at it again. Their army, this time, bigger in numbers. The raid was about to commit, but then quickly, it all went downhill. The mods had deployed a new rule where their account must be at least two years older in order to post a thread in the form. Quite impressive. Some people posted anyways, but were quickly blown up by the mods' anti-spam turrets. It was no use. Their army was weak from the newly placed shield. So instead, they decided to make new Roblox places called shrines, hop into those, print praise Quackity. These were quickly removed and Quack was once banned again. Their attack was extremely ineffective. Quite impressive of the Roblox mods. Let's see how they are dealing with exploiters. As you can see, Roblox mods will go do a lot and go out of their way to solve more, less serious problems. All while explorers never get a serious kick in the face or a fix. Same thing with many uh, other problems, but look, I'm not saying that they don't ban scammers and spammers as well as exploiters, but it seems that almost every single drama that came from Roblox's mod team was not regard to exploiters, and if it was, it was complaints about their ban ways banning quote unquote innocent players. But hey man, that's just my opinion. Maybe down in HQ they read all my 100s of reports on cheaters. Oh, and a video I made with over a million views didn't get.
and the people in there didn't get well that's just roblox powering moderation uncut cool editing with hard effort i left this out of video just because it was kind of too vague but i'm like there's some developers out there who are known like cindering who apparently get false banned and they never did anything wrong in the first place and he was um unbanned because of dude named carlos and if he wasn't a known developer he would have stayed stuck with that ban or possibly terminated later and that's just really really unfortunate yeah thanks for watching my garbage hopefully you enjoyed uh <laughs> stuff